Hey YouTubers, hey Facebook people, Twitter people, and LinkedIn people. This is Bob Hickman. Well, I'm out, I'm just having a, a stroll through the park today, and uh, I gotta tell you, this is the warmest December that I remember. It's about 60 degrees out here, and uh, I was just over here looking over the, the beautiful creek here. This is Holmes Run. And as you look into the sky, you can see that the sun, actually it shows up as a black disk, is already moving to the west. The days are really short now, and as we get closer to the winter solstice, uh, they're going to get even shorter. So as we're in this dark season of the year, it's a wonderful time to work on that deeper introspective work. You know, with the darker half of the year, it's a wonderful time, as I was saying, to do that inner work. It's an excellent time for casting spells, and I know some of you enjoyed the night magic spell that I cast. One of the other types of magic that I like to do is called tree scrying. And you're going to say, what is tree scrying? Well, here I'm sitting under this amazing oak tree, as you can see it here. And as you look into the branches, tree scrying is not so difficult. You want to look deep within the branches and see if you see shapes or symbols and let those symbols speak to you. I oftentimes see runes within the tree. And as I look up here in the middle, I can see some amazing structures that look like rune symbols. Study the deep patterns. You might see animals such as a leopard crawling through the branches, or you might see the face of the green man. Whatever you see, write it down, make a note of it, and study the symbolism. Nature has a wonderful way of speaking to us, and tree scrying, I think, is a wonderful way. All you need to do is find a tree, and preferably one that's against an open sky, such as this one here. As you can see, we don't have any obstructions behind the tree, and the imagery in the branches is very clear. As you can see on this tree branch, I see a lot of little leaves that are left. And from a distance, they look like fairies dancing. So perhaps this is a sign that I have the presence of fairies around me and that I should seek to build a closer relationship with them. Great symbols can be found throughout. So study and look within. There's great mysticism in tree magic. I can't tell you what the symbols will all mean, for they're going to mean different things to each person. You'll have to discover that for yourself, but I promise you if you try it, you'll get some amazing messages. Keep a notebook and learn the secrets of the trees. Well guys, I am so glad that you came along to the park with me today, and I hope you learned something new and something that you'll try out. You know, I always say it's neat to read about these things, but you actually have to go out and do them to really understand their value. So anyways, I'm so glad you're here. Keep it here at Spear Channel because you know we're going to have a lot more videos coming. Thanks for being here, guys. Blessings to you.